I want to know, is your game tight or will you get the boot? Today, two guys put four ladies to the test. First, they face interrogation in the dreaded X-ray chamber. Two girls get the quick boot while the other two move on. Next comes the gut check where each man runs the ladies through his own private challenge. Another girl gets booted, and we're left with only one. Now, the power shifts. The last woman standing flips the script on the fellas. Watch out now. One dude gets the boot, and the other one gets his queen. Welcome to the boot. Hi, I'm Floyd, and I'm hot, fine, and sexy. I'm a ladies man. Reason why, because I can look at a woman and I can pick her. <laughs> you know what they like and what they want to hear and how they would like to hear it and, you know, sweet talking me. I got that swag where I'm just super confident. Try to live life as it go, have fun as if it was my last day. Hello, I'm Sean. I'm a hip-hop singer. I write, produce, hip-hop music, and I'm a retired player, very authentic. <gasps> My type of girl is, gotta have brains, down to earth, you know, hip to the culture, you know, not lost in the sauce. Women say I'm easy on the eyes, I could just look at you and kind of give you the eye contact and say a couple words and it's a wrap. Okay, we got Floyd, a brother full of swagger, and Sean, a former player that's looking to bust out of retirement. Now let's toss some booties on the grill as they meet their ladies for the very first time in the dreaded X-ray chamber. Everybody's got secrets, but once these ladies enter the chamber, they'll have nowhere to hide. Sean and Floyd are about to make these sisters sweat. First up is Ariana. Have you ever been married? No. You wanna get married? One day. Oh, the type of guy that I like, they're nice and funny and uh, never say no to me. <laughs> How, are How are you doing, Good. all right? How are you? What's your name? Chris. Chris, mm -hmm. nice to meet you. What are your names? Well, we in control here. I like a guy who I'd like to describe as a smart thug. If you saw him walking down the street, you would never think that he was this smart nerd, geeky guy. Hello, how are you? What do you like to eat? Like lobsters. I'm a diva. I like to have fun. I like to meet nice, hot guys. I like to meet hot, nice girls. Want to come play with me? <laughs> What is the wildest thing you've ever done? Probably this show. I normally get whatever I want. Guys, shoes, whatever. Jerea, you gotta work for your whatever on this show. Now flash those dimples, homegirl. Just playing, but this interrogation's for real. And based on your answers, two of you ladies are gonna get the boot. First question, are you spoiled? Oh gosh, I spoil myself. Spoil yourself? Yeah. So you, you, you independent woman. I don't know, guys sometimes don't like that, so, you know. Yeah, they get intimidated by that. They shouldn't, they should want that. Save them a little money. Kyla got ass on, I like that. With that face, mm-mm. A lot of guys think off the back, they're like, oh, well, you know, you want us to spoil you and so forth, but I was taken care of before you came along. Okay. I don't depend on you, and I'm sure you're not going to cop for myself what I'm going to do for me anyway. Okay, so you don't... Without me having to try to give you something in return, and that's not easy. Anyway, that's priceless. You just want to really get down and get dirty. There is no way you're getting your hands on this piece of cake. Do you consider yourself being spoiled? Yes. By who? Guys. Guys. My boyfriends. Uh, when, when I have them. Huh? What? You dating a lot of guys make me really think about you. I mean, my boyfriends, when they're the boyfriend at the time, then they spoil me, yeah. But you know what? Milk gets spoiled, too. And you know what I do when it gets spoiled? You, I throw it right on out. Well, my father spoiled me. He was the first person to spoil me, and I think every father should spoil their daughters. Have you ever spoiled your man? Maybe like a massage or something like that, Okay. Yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. sure. You do anything for your man? Bark like a dog. Oh, no, you did not. What do you do that would turn a man off? I don't know, maybe I'm attentive. I like, if I find something I'm attracted to, I want to cling to it, and you know, I want him to cling to me. Yeah, I like with that. 
That's what's up. If you clean to me, it'll be all good. What do you think is the most annoying thing you do to turn us guys off? Well, I have a bad habit with snorting. And scratching my throat. Snowing cold or like no, no. Also, like snoring laugh, my like, No, not when I laugh, but just every morning when I wake up, I'm like Oh <laughs> Who wants to hear somebody snorting when they wake up next to them in the morning? Like When's the last time you had sex? It's been a while. I'm saving myself for my husband, nice Takari. On that ring right there is what I want. Saving yourself for your husband? Check, please. If I was to do something with every guy that came along, then I mean, then what? If you get out of line, I will put you back in your place. When was the last time you had sex? I'm kind of a prude. I don't know, I, a couple of months ago. So you don't have a crazy sex drive like that? Mm -hmm. No. Man, what I would do to get to that? I'm gonna ask you a wild one now. When, you know, when when's the last time you had sex? And I'm not gonna answer that question because I think that um, that's something personal that's between right. me and whoever I am going to, if I am going to do that. Oh. Yeah. You don't want to talk about your sexual background? You gotta be a low key freak. Floyd, either Chris is a freak or guys just won't get with all that nasty scratching and snorting. The interrogations are over. Sean and Floyd got to decide who they're gonna scratch. You'll be called up two at a time to learn the guy's verdict. If you get the slipper, it's time to lean on back, girl, because you're staying for the next round. But if you pull the boot, it's over. Ariana, Diva, girl, you need to calm down a little bit. No guy's gonna want to holler at that. Kyla, it's very creative that you found a shred to match your boots. Interesting. Jerea, your weave is horrible. Come over so I can fix it a little bit for you. Kyla, baby, those fur boots now. Jerea and Kyla, please step to your box. There's no way those other girls can stand up to me. It's obvious. Who knows what these guys like? Every guy is different, but I think I have a pretty good chance. You ladies may open your boxes. Well, fortunately, Kyla, you got the got boot. The boot. So you're gonna have to hit the dough. No, I didn't deserve to get the boot, but you know, those are the guys' decision and they have to live with it. That's fine anyway. You guys wasn't gonna end up getting this Ooh. Are you sure? <laughs> You got a banging body, but that face, mm-mm. Gosh, I spoiled myself. Well, you got the slipper, so you can be very comfortable and go back to your spot. Like I told you, I deserve to stay because it's obvious. The proof is in the pudding. Well, Jiraiya did say she gets whatever she wants, and looks like these brothers want whatever she's got. Next up, Diva Delicious Ariana and Chris, the sister with some serious sinus problems. Who'll get to keep hanging with the homies? Find out when the boot returns. This program's enjoy fresh large mangoes. Get three for just 99 cents. And stay cool with Gatorade Sports Drink, only 79 cents plus CRV. All at Albertsons. Welcome back to the boot. Before the break, Floyd and Sean told Kyla to kick it and kept Jerea cause Ariana and Chris get to step on up to see who'll be stepping out. I don't know what the guys are looking for, but I think there's a 99.9% .9 chance that I'll be staying. I think I have a really good chance of staying. I'm always a winner. You ladies may open your boxes. No, she did it. No, she did it. And when I first saw Ariana walk out, I was in shock. I thought maybe she would come back or something, but she was outy. But it don't matter. Hey, did you know what, y'all ladies? As you see, you got the slipper, and she had to hit the dope. Right, she, 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 she just did it without us telling her, so, so you know what I mean? She got the boot. Man, what's wrong with you? You still pretty. You just got the boot. That's right.
right, people. You can run, but you can't hide from the boot. But Jare and Chris don't chill just yet. Sean and Floyd have each set up a challenge to see which one of you is most worthy. It's all going to go down in the gut check. First up is Rap Master Sean. The whole purpose of today is just being creative. You can ask me three questions of anything that you like. And, um... Hold up, Home Slice. I got this. The sisters are gonna ask questions, and based on Sean's answers, they're gonna write him a little rap ditty of their own. You can rap it or sing it. Sean, how old are you, and why are you still trying to rap? Who's your favorite rapper, since you're a rapper? Mm, my favorite rapper? Rakim. I'm from the 80s. I'm an 80s baby, so... Okay. All right, Rakim. I like him. What's your attraction to women? Her whole vibe just gotta be vibrant. She gotta be radiant. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go? I want to go to Paris. Paris? Yeah. All right, ladies, enough questions. It's time to spit out some bars. <laughs> back in the day, I would sit in the back of my brother's car, listening to rap. Rakim talking about don't sweat the technique. Paris used to rap with EPMD. Talking about the rapper, not the city. Scarface was another one who clicked the flow. It was off a movie, not a TV show. Ooh. What? That's all I get. That's all I get. Wow. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Yo, I think Chris is kind of hot for us to rap. You know what I mean? You don't hear too many girls just come off the top and spit off impulse. I'm more than the eye can see. A rarity, beauty, and the essence. That's me. Ooh. That was hot. Ooh, <laughs> I like that. I like that, mom. Oh, yeah. Check out my girls feeling the flavor. It's hard to say which one made the most time with her rhyme. Maybe Floyd's trivia test can settle the score. Floyd wants a girl who's a lady in the streets, but in the bar, he's looking for a sports freak. If you get your um, acerone, you have to take a shot of your drink. And if you get it right, I have to take a shot of my drink. Okay. So are you ready? I'm ready. Name two teams that are from L.A. 